Now I'm sure you remember the vivarium that we cleaned up in a previous video. Now I'm going to use this vivarium for a brand new bioactive for a species that I already have. And that is my Harnia vitalisi, or the common name, which is Moss Mantis. So I bought some styrofoam sheets, and I'm going to use this for the basis of my backgrounds. So here we are just cutting the backgrounds to size. I'm going to cut these so they fit with the panel size of the glass on the inside. So like this background here, they are all going to just sit flush with the glass. And once I've got these measured out, I can go about then making these the soil type backgrounds that I want to make. I'm going to cut these down and I'm going to get back to you, just because it's going to be boring otherwise. So this is pretty much what I wanted to do. I have a back and sides of these sheets of styrofoam. Now next thing to do is to work with the styrofoam and apply soil but to apply the soil we need to make sure that it applies to the styrofoam sheets so i am smothering this i'm absolutely smothering this in silicone and using gloves i'm smearing the silicone evenly across the sheet to get even coverage and to make sure the whole thing's covered so there's no gaps Once that's done, it's time to lay down the sheet, obviously silicone side up. And I'm going to just pour the soil on top. I'm going to use as much as I want. That's the reason I've got the container. Any excess I can reuse. Give it a press down. Now, I gave this a good press down to make sure that it was evenly compacted. And it would adhere properly to the silicone. And then I left it in the sun to bake. Now while that's drying, I want to go ahead and feed some of my tarantulas. This species is my green bottle blue tarantula. And this is my Mexican fire leg, I think. Uh, Brachypelma amelia, I don't really know the common name. But if you would like um, some specific videos on these, I have 15 of them, so. And the finished product, well not the finished product, but once I have siliconed them all to the glass, this is how it looks. And there's some gaps at the bottom where the styrofoam is showing, but that's fine, because that is going to be under soil anyway. I love how textured this looks, it gives it so much more rather than just like a flat wall of cocoa fibre. And I was also having issues with, because the sheets are only 3mm thick, the light was shining in from the outside and it was giving the background this transparent look, which I didn't want. So I actually just put the black sheets of card on the outside to block the light. And the very first part of this bioactive now, apart from the background, is the drainage medium. Now I don't need this particularly deep, I don't really want it to be like an absolute swamp, I just want maybe an inch or so. Now I was actually going to use hydro fleece for the separation barrier between the soil and the drainage layer, but since the likes of John Cotney Smith etc and actually advising to not even use a separation barrier whatsoever. I have gone halfway and used some just some cotton fabric screening stuff that I, I use for my mantids. The idea is is that it will rot away over time anyway. So it will start off as a barrier and it will let the roots like grow down beneath it. But over time it's gonna rot away anyway.
Now I'm just playing with a hardscape here. This was originally from um, a tree. This is basically some vine stuff that was growing around a tree and it was dead. And I just ripped it off the tree. And now I'm using them as standalone like twigs in this. I was originally going to like embed it into the background to make this like make a thing of it like growing up wall sort of thing. But I think I actually just like it like this. Increases surface area that way and they can get in behind it, etc. They've got almost this like this, these like sprouting bits that are coming out. I really like that. That gives a lot of texture to it, and I think it's going to look really cool. Now I'm just using soil that was left over from the backgrounds we made earlier, and the reason that I'm putting the hardscape in first and then burying it is because I want there to be pieces of wood, etc., like subterranean for isopods and springtails to feed on on the ground. Now I had chucked some leaf litter and moss in there. Um, I didn't really film it because I don't really intend for it to be seen in the vivarium anyway. My plan is is to have the whole thing carpeted with moss. Now this moss is I think it's a few different species, I don't actually know the species, I just collected these from my garden and I've kept them in a tub on my windowsill for like a week now. They look really bright, vibrant and healthy and that is what I want to try and continue in this vivarium. Because with the moss mantis, if you keep them dry and in a brown background, they tend to go brown themselves to camouflage. But if you keep them in high humidity in like this luscious green environment, they look like how they tend to in the wild and in pictures with those really green patterns. And that's what I wanted to encourage as well. I actually found like just planting this moss like quite relaxing when I was doing it. The reason I wanted all the leaf litter beneath the moss is because I wanted ice to be able to go underneath the moss and then feed on the detritus underneath basically 